This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey! What's up, guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, but not on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. We are on the new updated Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy, which has Lynx, and I'm playing with the Metal Foes deck using the new Metal Foes Link monster. Um, I'm going to miss Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2's HD graphics specifically, uh, but basically um, this thing updates easier. It's easier for the computer to handle, which is you know relevant for streaming. It's easier for people to uh, to get this and keep it updated because it updates for you. So it's user it's user friendliness is just at an all time high. Um, so like it just it's uh, it just makes more logical sense for me to pl be uh, playing on this. I'm playing the Dark Worm engine alongside Astrograph, alongside all this kooky shit. Um, in my, uh, in my amazing ass, uh, Pendulum deck. It's great. I love this. I love this deck. Uh, but so I can normal summon Arch Phoenix Centric, I can make Heavy Metal Foes, dude. Um, and then I could pop, I could put this in my scale, pop, uh, do a few different things. I could put this in my scale, pop a card. I could put these in my scales, uh, pop, get combination, pop. Then I end up Pendulum Summoning first. Um... Which is not really what I want to do, but you know what? Fuck it. We will just deal with it the way that we, the way that get, the way that, the way that Yugi intended. We'll just deal with it. But so uh, I can activate this to pop this and set combination, which means I can then do the Arch Phoenix Centric play. Um, so I'll activate the Eccentric, pop this, uh, which will get me a. I'll get a, I'll get a little man. Um, I'll get a smaller one. I'll get silvered. It's not ideal. I haven't normal summoned yet though, so this could be potentially decent, um, depending. Uh, but so I'll activate this over here, and uh, I can use this to pop that at some point. Uh, but I'll activate this, uh, I'll, I'll activate my Pendulum Summon. No, I'll just Pendulum Summon the Arch Phoenix Centric out here. And then I can, uh, make my Heavy Metal Foes Electrum. So I'll make those here. And then, uh, Electrum's effect. Do I wish to use it? Um, yes. In fact, in fact I do! Um, but so I could put... Uh, I can put Astrograph, which I can then, let's see, this can pop this um, to go ahead and get a sir, or a set. Um, so I will. I'll pop this, get a set. So I'll set a counter, and then I'll use this. Oh, that maxi's pretty fucking good. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, but so I'll use this, popping that, getting Astrograph. And then I get to use the Astrograph to summon itself. And then I'll add a card from my deck to my hand. So I'll add another copy of Steelin because I have more high scales than low scales um, in my deck. So might as well uh, keep these keep these pumping out, right? Now the thing that I have access into is I can normal summon this. Or um, what I can do is I can just go ahead and set up another counter. Which would probably be for the best because I've also got the thing out here. So I can activate this, and I can then set up with counter. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Um, so I'll use I'll use the Steelin. I'll activate its effect. I'll pop the Astrograph, and I'll get another counter from my deck. And then I'll set Strike, and I'll set Full Metal Foes Fusion. I'll set Full Metal Foes Fusion here, and I'll set Strike in my other Pendulum Scale because that's the card I'd want to use first. Um, and then I have the max C, um, and if any of my cards get destroyed, specifically Electrum, that's why I left it out here, because it's smaller, I can just counter twice into two monsters, and then I can full Metal Fist Fusion into Alkahist. What is this? A Morphage Lechery. Uh-huh. I see you are also playing Zapendu Lambs. Uh, oh. Audi's Revolution Dragon. Interesting. What does this do? Um... You can discard this card, pay 500 life points, add a level 8 or lower dragon pendulum from your deck to your hand. Um, okay. Cool. Sure. So this actually searches a Morphage cards. That's actually pretty neat. 
didn't actually consider that one, but Amorphages take a pretty big hit to Master Rule 4. So, not really too worried about that. And I can just also Solemn Strike. Like, unless he puts a Greed here. Well, no, he has to put a Greed, then Normal Summon an Amorphage, and then Pendulum Summon. Or else, he falls into Strike, because if he just puts... Oh, he's just putting Sloth there. Neither player can add cards from the deck to hand except by drawing them. Okay! Okay, big boy. Um, okay, so he's gonna just Pendulum Summon. Straight. No fear. None. <laughs> Zero fear. Just the Greed? Okay. I'll strike that. I'll one for one with that. I don't care about that. Um, so we summoned a lechery. All right, cool. So I can't activate spells and I can't add a card from my deck to my hand except by drawing it. <laughs> All right. Uh, setting a card. Cool. Um, this was not pendulum summoned, so I can very easily, um, I can very easily just uh, still summon from my extra deck. That's not even a factor. I wonder if he thought that one out. Hmm. Interesting. But so I'm going to activate this in my other scale. And I'm going to use Steel to pop it. Uh, which will then let me I, uh, Electrum trigger. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have too many things here. <laughs> Luckily, this is just a low enough scale. Uh, but that's not what we're going to use it for. We are going to. Uh... Well, it should still let me pop this. It should let me pop and then set in that zone, I would have thought. Uh, but it turns out I'm just incorrect. Uh, but so what I can do is that I can um, I can activate this. I can destroy my sloth. And I can add back Archfiend Eccentric. Or I can just add back a low scale. So I can add back... I can destroy this. I can destroy this. And then if I do destroy this... That means that I get to add back my Astrograph Sorcerer, which means that I then get to summon the Astrograph Sorcerer, which then means I get to draw a card. Um, but so we'll do this. You get to draw a card. That's a high scale. Good. All right. Um, wait, did I just not activate my counters? I'm a dumbass. Sometimes I'm just stupid. I can't activate spells either. Well then, looks like we're just going to attack into these cards. <laughs> Still don't think it's a problem. Um, unless this is what? What is this? A Morphage Lysis? Um, Alright. Cool. Don't think that makes your stuff big enough still. I attacked with this one first. Alright then. Alrighty then. Alright, so Amorphages are not what I would consider a, a really good deck. I didn't I put together that, that Odd Eyes card can search these cards. That's actually pretty cool. Um, not even going to lie, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> um, oh shit, I just kicked my camera. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing professionalism. Uh, but So I can full Metal Foes Fusion into, um, into Mithrilium, uh, which would be live. So, I guess I could do that. So, we'll go into, yeah, Mithrilium here. Uh, into Mithrilium with these two. Up here. And so then, I can activate my Volflame. I can pop my Sloth. I still haven't Pendulum Summoned this turn. So, this is good. Um, so, I'll activate this popping... S sloth? Yeah. I'll pop Sloth... Uh, and I'll use that to set my Metal Foes Fusion. And then both of my counters can activate. So I can get more cards on the board to do naughty things with. Uh, so I'll summon out Volflame. And I will summon out... Uh, I guess Abysmagear. Um, seems pretty alright. And so what I get to do now... Is that I can... Use Mithrilium to bounce my Volflame, shuffling back these two cards, and um, and so I'll shuffle back these two. I could put back Combination as well, but I'll put back the Full Metal Foes Fusion right now. Um, so I'll use this to bounce my Volflame, because doing that will do that, and I can activate Volflame's effect to pop the Mithrilium. 
and then I have the Metal Fuzz Fusion that is also live. So I'll pop this, uh, which will set a counter from my deck. This Mithrilium will trigger to summon a Pendulum Monster from my Graveyard or Extra Deck. I will summon it from my Extra Deck because that is the only option. So I'll summon this here, and then I will go into a, another copy of Heavy Metal Foes Doodad Man up here. I can use this effect to just add another copy of some dumbass bullshit pendulum into my extra deck. Um, I'll just put the other Dark Worm in there just to get it out of my deck. Um, let's see here. I can add back a I can add back Astrograph, but that's not going to be ideal. Um, I've already used the draw effect for this, so I'm going to pop the Bismagear that's on the board, and I'm going to add back a low scale. So I'm going to add back a Silvered. And so from here, well actually I could have added back the uh, the Supreme King Gate, and then I could have pendulumed out the Bismagear, then I could have had Sloth Bismagear. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. Um, but so I'll activate this now here, which I can then... Pendulum Summon, so I will Pendulum Summon Sloth, and I will Pendulum Summon Volflame, just to be big bitches. Um, and also, it puts him out from being able to summon this out of his extra deck, so that's pretty good. Um, and it, this this uh, this counts towards his thing, because uh, that's an Amorphage card on the field, but I don't care about that. Um, that's perfectly fine. But So I'm getting a Bismagear search, so I will pop the Volflame, I can turn off the, uh, the Sloth next turn if I want to, it's pretty easy. Um, and then we'll just pass turn on this. I, I fucking guess, right? No! I wish not to maximum C, but I will do this. Um, and I'll do this to add... I guess I'll just add this stealing. Um, I'll steal in with the silver, and then that's a pendulum scale next turn. I can pop the sloth. Um, I can do some stuff. But so these both go away. They all go away, in fact, because sure, this will replace one. This can replace one. Um, but it'll still just die because it's the standby phase and it's checking for a trigger. <sighs> so, like, alright. That's probably the thing that I hate the most about the Amorphage cards, honestly if I'm real with you, is the fact that they out themselves. That's really just not a, uh, not a, um, not an ideal looking thing. Rescue Hamster. Um, alright. Banish it from your pendulum zone. Add two pendulum monsters with the same name from your extra deck to your hand. Are there even two with the same name from your extra deck? Oh yeah, there's two lecheries. <laughs> I'm blanking out. Um, but so, I can easily turn off this sloth. That's the thing I like about sloth in this deck is a one of. Is that it's put into your extra deck off of your uh, off of your heavy metal foes Electrum, but then it's also just something that uh, that you get to just tutor out and you can summon it, and then every turn you have it on the board you can just pop it with a scale or pop it with Electrum and turn it off and then put it back onto the field. That's something I really like. I really like that as a one of tech because it means that you don't really have to do a lot, but at the end of the day you can still just put a card on the board that says neither you or your opponent can summon from the extra deck, and that's really neat, and that's really cool. I really like that. I really like that aspect of the deck. But anyway, I'm not going to try and go to another game, even though Gideon does allow multi-games. It does allow for matches. Right now it seems to be kind of odd, um, or people are just leaving, because it just, and when I go into side decking, it just terminates the connection. Um, so I don't know if that's the problem server-wise, or if that's a problem with people just leaving and just leaving me blue-balled. But works for my purposes anyway because I don't want these videos to get too long and this is already a 14 minute long video so I guess I'm okay with that but anyway as always guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below on this deck and all that sort of nonsense I'm really having a lot of fun with this I will definitely move over to other pendulum decks like former pals and like magicians and stuff like that I just I, I have not played metal foes since April 11th when I played them in a regional and got like 12th or 11th place with it like it's been a long time since I've played Metal Foes, like almost six months, and it's one of my favorite Pendulum decks because of how technical you get with, like, like getting your counters out of deck. It's also just one of those decks that, like, it's really hard to kill you through counters, so it's, like, one of those decks that you could just be like, I went second, I'm gonna set three counters, and I'm gonna just try to survive. <laughs> and that's something that I really uh, enjoy about this deck, is that you can actually play on a bit of a slower pace, even though you are playing a Pendulum deck, but... 
regardless, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links is always in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the videos I've been making as of recently and you want to support my ability to continue making those videos, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As well as if you're interested in getting access to my private Discord server where you can chat with me and a bunch of others on a daily basis, or if you're interested in monthly Yu-Gi-Oh! product giveaways, then definitely go check out the Patreon reward tiers that are on that link in the description as I've already said. And any support you'd like to give the channel would be greatly appreciated in advance. You'd have my gratitude uh, because uh, it just helps out a lot, as I've said many times in the past, in terms of keeping this project of mine afloat, essentially. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, and take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. But anyway, now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that's currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a lot more than you may know. You have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support.